So here we're adding the side trusses to the cockpit, adding a couple pieces in, seat belts, blah, blah, blah. So let's get to it. Honestly, I have to admit, you know, for rotor foot straps, I was expecting a bit more than just a blank strip of photo etch. And to be honest, I don't think this is gonna work from a width standpoint. Yeah, those are just a skosh too wide. So we're gonna go down a size and again, using the wonders of finger pressure mash these things to more appropriate radius. A little bit of Loctite, ultra control, ultra controlled gel stuff. So not perfect. Um, if I were going for a full build, I'd probably put a little tiny bit more effort into this, but these are PE foot straps for rudder pedals for a naked build. So I'm going to try my hardest to not lose sleep over this tonight. Here come the clippers. Snip, 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 snip. So this piece is supposed to fit onto here and here, right? And so that one goes like that. Oh, but look where they put that sprue gate. Right on the middle of that bend. Thanks, guys. And so how to hollow that little bastard out? Well, this is not the ideal approach. All right, now that I've got these main elements going on of the cockpit, happy fun party time. I'm not going to lie, I don't entirely trust what's going on here. So this is kind of what has to happen to the cockpit. Hmm, okay. Tough to really test fit that. But you know what? I think it makes sense here to jump ahead and do some attaching of C-19 and Mr. D-30. You know, it's a limited run kit, so no alignment pins, but I have to say overall, you know, that is a fuselage. And so something fun about C-19 here. Look at the shape, right? Big square, kind of a little semicircle thing on top. Huh? I mean, what? They're, they're completely different. So when you're counting on the the uh, manual to guide you in proper placement that doesn't inspire too much confidence especially when it then says to attach these little pegs into these little holes uh what holes all i see are some ejector pin marks that's about it so yeah that's a bit troublesome anyway let's go ahead and get it glued in because it'll help us stabilize things all right, we don't need a lot of tape here, just enough to kind of hold this thing together. And you can see we only have an alignment tab down here on one side. Good enough for government work. Now, per the instructions, this piece slots in here like this. There we go. And on reveal, there is actually a vertical alignment tab over on this side. You can see it right in here. I got this one up here. Now I'm going to focus on 
just gluing in this starboard side. So get myself a little bit of Tamiya extra thin. And just focus on that. A little bit right in there. Okay, so what we've got ahead of us now is this fun little thing. So this piece has to slot in under here and then the ends of it match up to these little tiny holes in the side framework which as you can see here isn't even there oh but it's here on this one so we've got you know a hole on one side if nothing else right now I think I see where it's supposed to be on this one so let's grab for a another old airbrush needle Get this guy flat if you look here, zoom in so you guys can see. If you look right in here, you can see where that hole is. A little bit of pressure, a little bit of twisting. we have a hole. Question is will this guy fit it? Not quite yet. So I'm going because I'm being lazy I'm not even gonna bother getting a drill. Okay, let's play some dumbass instructions. So here we've got D16, which kind of comes in and does something here, right? Over here we can see it is underneath these connecting pieces, which way back here, we glued to other things. means we now get to pull them up. Again, you know, the minor frustrations that in my opinion go beyond, oh, it's a limited run kit to, oh, it's excuses. And you know what? I'm just gonna cut those fuckers off. You know why? Seat's gonna be right on top of them, so who cares? We're gonna now glue this piece. Like so. Easy peasy, right? this I'm going to want to use superpower of MEK So we've got one side glued in. Time to 
add the other. All right, so back to it. Cut the uh, resin seat off of its pour block here. Now we've got the cockpit coming right along. Now it's time to get into Photo Etch. Now one frustrating thing about this, um, it's common for sadly most PE frets is the absurdly tiny gap between the fret and the PE that needs to be cut off. See, it's, it's frustrating. Like, give me enough space to get something in here to cut it with, right? I don't like having to resort to the exacto, but it does the job. All right, let's make some damn seat belts. So quickly, here's another fun fiction of the instruction manual. You know, this piece looks nice and detailed, doesn't it, in the instructions? Well, let's see what it looks like in reality. Place it here for the sake of comparison. I mean, why bother sketching all that? Why go through all that effort if you're just gonna give us a little friggin' bar of plastic? Why not cast it in resin if the detail is a concern? So here we have the seat. Not bad for resin, but I mean, as I said in the opening remarks, I've seen way better in resin too. You know, the, the photo edge belts do the job. Um, I would definitely recommend, you know, building this for real, going with fabric. And this little bit over here, just doing nobody any favors. So there you have it. So I know I said I was going to work through steps four through six, but I actually kind of went ahead of that. Um, the way that the cockpit comes together, it made sense to just sort of keep moving. So I essentially did steps four up here with the rudder pedals through nine, which is bringing the cockpit together, and actually went a little bit ahead of that and went ahead and installed the seat. So, you know, as you can see here, it's coming together pretty nicely. Cockpit isn't the most detailed in the world, but at the same time, you know, you're not going to be seeing too much of this in the aircraft itself. So, can't really complain. Um, 
as far as fit goes, I will say these parts are anything but, you know, wingnut wings or Tamiya quality. There is a lot of thank God for solvent cement, you know, for the MEKs and Tamiya Extra Thins of the world to hold this plastic together because there's not much in the way of positive location. You know, if you look on the back here, some of these pieces like the seat, you know, the seat back pretty rough and vague and you know had to essentially rely on glue to make that work now this isn't really all that big of a deal except for one critical factor um, I'm personally a big fan of painting as much especially in a cockpit as I can before I bring it all together in installation so ideally I'd be painting the cockpit sides and detailing the hell out of those then bringing them into the cockpit floor and there's no way to do that here um you know you you need something like a solvent to really weld these parts together i mean, maybe i could see get, getting away with putting the seat in later but beyond that this stuff has to go together the way it does 